Tell me if you've ever experienced anything like this. You need to get some actor's location, and in order to get that, of course, you need to pull off, you need to get actor location, and then you need to connect it up to your vector pin, and you're probably doing this like 10, 20, maybe 50 times in a day uh, some days. Wouldn't it be just so much easier if you could just drag and drop and have it auto-convert into the cat location for that actor? Well, as you can see, that is a possibility that you can do. It requires a little bit of C++ work, but it is remarkably easy, so let's get into it. I'm here in empty project, which is set up to use C++. So let's go to tools, new C++ class. We're going to go to all classes and we're going to make a blueprint function library. We'll go to next, uh, give that a name, call that something like blueprint convert utils, or really whatever you want it to be, and we'll create that class. Now, if you're entirely new to C++, I do have content on the channel to get you started working with C++, setting up your C++ projects, that kind of stuff, and really start learning how to use it. But this is super easy. So once you have your project set up for C++, you shouldn't need to dive in super deep in order to accomplish something like this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a U function, and we'll set that to being blueprint pure then we'll set the meta stuff to be equal to first and foremost a compact node title that's going to make it one of those little simple conversion looking nodes like you saw at the beginning of the video and we'll set that to something like get location just like copilot is trying to tell me to do we'll also set it to blueprint auto cast and this is the magical thing, right? This is going to automatically take one input and return another input. Semi-automatically. We do need to actually like specify the code for that, obviously. But this way it knows to insert this node between two certain types of objects. And make sure that with the uh, meta stuff, you actually like encapsulate everything to do with the meta. So that's the compact node title and the fact that it's a blueprint autocast together. And then the category can be its own little line here. This can all exist within one line, of course. I like putting them a little bit like stacked like this so it's easier to read. Then the function that we're going to be making will be static because we want to be able to access it at any time from anywhere. It will return a f vector. And this is kind of the important part, right? We need to name these conv for conversion, underscore, and then the type of input, which is going to be actor in our case, to the type of output, which is going to be a vector in our case. So if you have a different like custom struct that you're trying to get data out of, you would use the name of that custom struct or even the custom actor class type or any type of object type that you're doing. Gonna put that name in first, then two, and then whatever you want to get out of it. So as an example, I also have this set up to in my own project here to convert to a rotator and convert an actor to a transform. This is quite important because Unreal gathers up these conversion static functions by their name. So these do need to be named properly. Anyway, we can uh, implement that in this CPP file. I'm just going to auto-generate that implementation. And here we simply uh, need to return whatever we want to return as the vector. So in this case, what this line here does is it's checking, hey, is this actor valid? On the left-hand side, it returns get actor location if the actor is valid. If the actor is not valid, we do the thing on the right-hand side here, which is just returning a zero vector. This effectively just creates the conversion node between a actor and its location. And it's going to be automatically inputting that whenever I try to hook up an actor to a vector pin. And then finally, we need to make sure that this is public so that it's easily accessible by Unreal's own internal systems as well. So with that, let's compile this thing again and run it. And now inside of a blueprint graph, if we have something that takes in a location, so the find look at rotation, for instance, takes in two vectors, and we have a variable that is a actor reference, so just like actor object reference, we can drag and drop this and it automatically puts in our new get location. And of course, you can use this same ID to convert literally anything into anything else automatically within Blueprint. So if you have a inventory component, for instance, anytime you have an actor, 
and you want to be able to drag it right into a inventory component and have it automatically like grab that you set up an interface for that and you supply that on the actors and you effectively can automatically call the get inventory component interface that you might have when you connect these up in blueprint directly to each other same way if you have a custom structure you want to be able to print out as a string you just need to set up a function kind of like the one we just set up here that creates a string from that struct data and then provide it in so that you can easily print it out for like debugging purposes maybe you can effectively take any kind of data that you want in and put any type of data that you want out as long as you're able to supply any type of logic for how to get that information and a very big thank you to all my patrons you can see them on screen right now if you want to help support the channel or get any of the project files in any of my tutorials there's a link down below to the patreon page to support me or alternatively as a youtube member and of course an extra massive thank you to my cave digger tier supporters Sergey thomas and my cave student tier supporters oiku and earl monsville urnow